In this video, we're going to install BFD3, download the BFD3 core library, install that, and also authorize BFD3 with the F Expansion License Manager. So after you've purchased BFD3, and one place you can purchase BFD3 is of course the F Expansion store, and another place you may want to consider is JRR Shop. Great people there at JRR Shop. Anyway, I received my BFD3 serial number via email, went to the F Expansion website, logged into my account, and registered my BFD3 serial number. After that, I downloaded these two files as you can see here. So first, let's double click here and install the actual BFD3 program and now we'll just let this extract to the temporary folder location okay so now bft3 has finished unpacking let's go ahead and install here go through all our menus and make sure you choose the correct path for your system here choose which shortcuts you want installed and now we are installing bft3 all right installation has finished so we'll go ahead and close this here it placed a updated license manager shortcut here on my desktop so we'll open this i'll go ahead and log in here now it's checking for installed f expansion plugins all right so now i get a pop-up saying that my bfd3 is not authorized so i need to go ahead and authorize that for this computer i'll just click authorized so the license manager connected with my f expansion account which i've already registered my bfd3 serial number two and now it says bfd3 is authorized all right so here's my list of authorized f expansion plugins on this computer so now we need to install the bfd3 core library so let me go to the download section here all right that's not running let me so let me close this license manager for now and i'm going to double click on this bfd core library installer ticket that i already downloaded from my account bring up the license manager i'll go ahead and log in again okay let's go to this downloads tab yeah there we go now we are downloading the bfd3 core library and this appears to be the only way to actually download the core library is through the license manager so now we just uh have to wait all right, the BFD3 core library has finished downloading and you can see here our progression bar is in red. So that's not good. It's saying here I have seven files that did not download properly. So that's not good. I'll click this warning symbol here. And this gives me a bit of information about what I should do. So it looks like I need to re-download the BFD3 core library. Close that here. It takes me to a list of the files that have errors, files that had a problem downloading. So let me come back to the license manager, close this. I'm going to double click on this download ticket again to relaunch the manager. Okay, let's go back to the downloads tab. And there we go. Oh, it looks like I actually, it looks like I may have clicked on that download ticket a couple of times. So I actually, I actually don't need the second one here. So I'll go ahead and close that one out. So it looks like luckily we're not going to have to re-download that whole 38 gigs. We're just going to check the files and download just the ones that we need to download. So now we just need to wait again. Okay, so the license manager finished checking our BFD3 core library and downloaded those seven files that had errors in them. All right, so it looks like we have the core library downloaded now. Nice. And one more thing I'll just mention is you can come up here to file and options before you start downloading and you can change this download path to something that might work better for you. I just left it on the default downloads folder because that's what works for me. But if you don't have maybe enough space in your downloads folder on your C drive, then you may want to come in here and change that before you start downloading anything. All right, so let's continue on. Come back here to the downloads tab and we'll click this little play sign and that should install the BFD3 core library for us. So let's go through these menus. And here you can choose where you want the BFD3 core library installed to. So I'll just choose the path where my other BFD3 libraries are installed. All right. You can also choose what detail level you want installed. I want the full detail, everything installed. Okay. So now we'll just let this install and we'll, and we'll just have to wait. All right. The BFD3 core library is now installed. So we'll close down the license manager. And before we go, let's launch BFD3 and make sure it's working properly here. So I've already pinned the shortcut here on my start page and windows eight. Okay, so upon first launch, it's giving me the license managers coming up. Behind there, you can see BFD3. Okay, so now all I need to do is click authorize. There we go. Going to rescan all my plugins. Everything's authorized and good to go. Let me close this down. So now BFD3 has recognized my BFD3 content. So I need to make sure I set this up. So I'm scanning the path. All right, there we go. And now our content is up to date and ready to use. So upon your first launch of BFD3 and standalone, you'll get a menu that looks about like this, where you can just set up some basic things. You can choose how the octaves are numbered. I'll just leave this stuff on default for now. 
I'll leave this on standard, though I'll probably change it to full detail later on, but let's just leave this on defaults for now. Okay, there we go. Now we have BFD3 up. We can see the new interface. I've got to say, this interface is extremely different from the BFD2 interface that if you've watched my previous videos, you know I had quite an affinity for that interface. This interface is definitely going to take some getting used to. So let's confirm that our content is working. So we'll just load the very first preset here. Okay, that's loading up. It looks like it's working. I'm not getting any errors so far. Let's click on a couple items here. All right, so there's the kick. It's working, there's a snare, it's working. Now we'll just click play here and play the default groove. There we go. So BFD3 is working just fine here so far on Windows 8.1, and that is how you would download, install, and authorize BFD3.